What's up guys, it's Widgeon TV here. The first new quest of the Wild Appalachia expansion is finally out, and it's called Wasted on Nukashine. This quest takes you all around Morgantown to find the secrets of this new liquor and where it came from. So what is Nukashine? How do you make it? And what's its secret ingredient? Heading over to the Morgantown station, we can find a poster on the wall behind some benches. Wild Eviction Party, Pie House Party Rules, Break Stuff, Be Wild, Trash Hard, Trash All, Chug, Coma, Puke, Rally. All are welcome, formal attire is optional, no robots, P.S. Cops not invited, cops come, everyone for themselves. So this poster is encouraging the worst behavior, so sounds like a good time. Heading over to the first fraternity house located on the street corner, we can see the Greek letters, Pi Kappa Me, down its side. Approaching the door, we walk past a ton of garbage and another poster like the one we saw at the station. Looks like we're in the right place. Let's enter. When entering, we start the quest Wasted on Nukashine, and we see the aftermath of that eviction party. Garbage and drink containers are pushed up against the wall, while pony kegs are littered everywhere. Opposite the door, we can find the eviction notice. Eviction Notice, vault University, Office of the President, 2 Pi Kappa Me, Greek Society. Date, 10 this is only a few days before the bombs fell. This notice serves as a final warning to vacate the premises of the Pi Kappa Fraternity House before all occupants are forcefully evicted by campus police. This action follows repeated infractions against campus policy, countless warnings, and a record-breaking 24 on our 10-point infraction scale. Attempts to dissociate Pi Kappa Me from the university are futile at best, as the property is, and has always been, wholly owned by the university. Do not attempt to appeal this ruling. This action directly serves the best interests and quality of life of the neighborhood and, frankly, the entire city of Morgantown. Infractions list. Current semester. So this is only in the last 10 weeks. Malicious destruction of campus property. Repeated breach of anti-hazing principles. Furnishing alcohol to minors. Multiple fire code violations. Multiple health code violations. Disorderly conduct. Failure to maintain proper lawn care. Failure to acknowledge a victim notices. Because this notice came only a few days before the bombs fell, and by the look of the place, the members of Pi Kappa Me partied all the way until the world ended. Heading through the house, we can see the remnants of a proper stereotypical college party. Beer pong, keg stands, and casual sex. On the second level, we can find a small room with a ghoul inside. On the desk, we can find a bottle of Nukashine. On the label, it says, it's your time to shine, made in 2076. Next to the bottle, we can find Ted's terminal. So it looks like this terminal belongs to Ted Dorfman. This is a reference to Kent Flounder Dorfman in Animal House. Oh, what's my Delta Talcai name? Dorfman, you've given this a lot of thought. From now on, your name is Flounder. Flounder? Pie House, Ted Dorfman. Welcome to the personal terminal of Theodore Party Animal Dorfman. If you are reading this, it means you logged into my personal terminal. Don't do that. Messages. Nukashine. Ted, could we please nail down the plans for transferring Nukashine to Pie House for your party? Lewis won't speak another word to me until I've scheduled a date, and he's the only one with the formula. By the way, that joke the Pie Mees were circulating about him got back to us. Not funny. His Nukashine is going to make your eviction party the event of the year. So no more cheap jokes at his expense, okay? Judy Lowell, Eat a Chapter President. Recommendation? Ted, I have some great news. Professor O has a job for me. She says I'm a good fit, but the intern application requires two peer recommendations. The other Charlie wrote me one, and I was wondering if you could write me one. You said writing wasn't your best skill, but I think you're pretty good. I even try to write like you sometimes. Do you think you could say some cool words about me? I tried to ask in person, but you were always hungover. That's boss. I just hope you read this soon. Getting this internship would mean a lot to me and my mom. Thanks, Ted. Oops. I forgot to include my name. Imagine me forgetting something that important on such an important request. Sounds like he's still hungover. Whoops again. I forgot my name again. It's Charlie. If you even care. 
Are you even reading these messages, Ted? I know you're not, yet here I am, still typing them up for you. So you know, I also typed up a recommendation for Charlie in your name. I joined Pi Kappa Me because I wanted to make the most of my college years. And you guys know how to live it up, if nothing else. After blacking out four nights in a row, I realized that's all you know how to do. I'm no saint, but I care about the Pi memes. I can't tell if you don't because you're just a jerk or because you're just too dumb. I want to stop being selfish and try to do something good for the world. My humanities grade seems to be a good place to start. Enjoy your party. See you never. Dally. Monthly Newsletter, September 2077. Greetings, fellow PyMe brothers. Here are your monthly updates. 1. The so-called authorities at vault U have invented a bunch of totally false charges against us because they don't like how hard we party. So what does this mean to you? Absolutely nothing. We're trashing their notices, and we have this great plan to totally not be involved with the school anymore, in a foolproof legal way. And we'll basically own the Pi House then. How cool is that? Two, look, we all know the epithets are total loser eggheads, but some of them are pretty cool too, especially the ones that just opened up this hot new speakeasy near campus. But they won't tell me where it is or how to get in until you guys stop being jerks to them. All of you. This means you too, Badger. It's moonshine made with Nuka-Cola. Don't mess this up for me. Three, prank of the month. Last month, we stole the head off that stupid vault boy statue on campus, and that really peeved off the man. Let's get creative this month. We were supposed to raid the epithet house, but that's definitely not happening now. So drop some ideas is my way. If you have an idea that involves fire, keep it to yourself this time. That does it for this month, Pymees. And as always, party every day. So it sounds like there's a speakeasy on campus somewhere. We're definitely going to have to go find that. Heading downstairs, we can find another ghoul and more of the same trash. Behind the pool table, we can find a room with a placard on the wall reading pledges. Inside, we can find two skeletons in a rather precarious position. Next to them, we can find a hollow tape. Days. Who the hell knows? I'm trapped, but starving, thirsty. Does everyone, does everyone drink that goddamn drink? Um, this was our final initiation. Me and my uh, buddy Max over there locked in here for the party, and then <laughs> and we were golden. You know, just one, one last test. So they passed out red cups at the end. To, to, to celebrate. Called it Luca Shine. Yeah. Dump mine out when they weren't looking. Max here. He didn't. Everyone was um, fine at first. Until, uh, until they weren't. Oh, that sound. I, uh. I will never forget that. Damned sound. I, I, uh, I can't. Oh. <sighs> now. Now I am stuck here. I'm stuck here with no food, no water. Oh, and, and an old saw that won't cut through shit. I'm stuck here. Oh, Max Posey. I gotta think of something soon. Max, he's he's a swell guy, but um, getting a little sick of his company. In this tape, he mentions a saw. Looks like they had to resort to cutting their hands off with this old rusty saw. The trauma of this must have been too much for him to handle because his skeleton remains. All right, now that we have explored the house, there's only one thing left to do. Let's drink some Nuka Shine. Its effects are increased unarmed damage by 100%, decreases sprint AP cost, and increases AP regen by 50%. At the end, it has a warning, may cause blackouts. All right, let's drink up. <laughs> Immediately, our screen changes color and we get attacked by some low-level party crashers. When the Nuka Shine wears off, we black out. After a loading screen and checking our map, it looks like we have been transported all the way down to the ash heap. Nothing like waking up in a completely different part of the map after a long night of drinking. I also noticed that we are thirsty, another part of a hangover. It now instructs us to read the Nuka Shine label in our inventory. At our alma mater stands a boy gray and cold. The steps behind him are the first threshold. Around the right corner, study the street. Just to the left, the place that we meet. 
There you can stain your skin with ink, but find the back door and we'll get you a drink. So alma mater means university that you once attended. So we can assume the boy, gray, and cold is the vault boy statue in front of vault Tech University. Behind the statue, we can head up the stairs that are the first threshold. Turning around the right corner, we can study the street, and just to our left, we can see a red light. Heading over, we can see that it's Big Al's Tattoo Parlor, where you can stain your skin with ink, so let's head to the back door so we can get a drink. Entering the tattoo parlor, we can see some rather disturbing automated tattooing machines. Behind a small desk, we can find a reception terminal. Big Al's Advertisement Draft Alice, here's what I have so far. I'm struggling here. Let me know what you think. Steve, print advertisement draft one. Need ink? Come to Big Al's Tattoo Parlor by campus and become a legend. See what decades of experience feels like being etched onto your skin by award-winning artist Alice Big Al Loveless. Print advertisement draft five. Feeling down? The cure to your crippling depression is an award-winning tattoo. Come by Big Al's Tattoo Parlor and let Alice Big Al Loveless save your life. Wow, those are pretty bold claims. Print advertisement draft 14. Come to Big Al's Tattoo Parlor by campus and get a nice tattoo. Also, now hiring part-time copywriter for print media. Apply within. Sounds like this guy is trying to pawn his job off on somebody. Print advertisement draft 21. Something something Alice Big Al Loveless something award-winning something Big Al Tattoo Place. Something get a tattoo please or I'm gonna get canned. Print advertisement draft 37. La 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 da. So, so it looks like this guy gave up. Memo. Seller construction. Team, allow me to be frank. We've been struggling for some time now despite many attempts to advertise to locals and students. I've accepted that we don't have the budget to obtain the results that we're after. Sorry Steve, nothing personal. Fortunately, some enterprising youngsters from the university have approached me with an extremely lucrative offer. They'll be leasing our seller for an initial period of 10 years, providing me with enough income that I'll never have to work again. If you're wondering what they're going to be selling down there, I don't know and I don't care. Feel free to ask them yourselves. I'll be into Haiti. Alice Big Al Loveless. P.S. Leave the Nuka-Cola machine in the break room alone. Apparently, it's not there for cola. Go figure. So hey, maybe that Nuka-Cola machine is a door. Let's check it out. Back near the entrance, we can find that Nuka-Cola machine. In front of it, we can see a Nuka-Shine mat placed almost like it's a welcome mat. Activating the small glass door, we are greeted with the whole refrigerator opening up. Revealing a secret stairwell. But this is actually where I'm going to end part one. In our next video, we will go down into the speakeasy and we'll meet a new drunken friend named Biv and find out where the Nuka Shine is made. And we'll find out how to brew ourselves some. Unless you're watching this video the day it comes out, part two should already be available. I'll have a link to that in the description below and the cards above. And if you are watching this video the day I put it out, part two should be up tomorrow. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you've made it this far in the video, consider joining my channel's membership. You get a cool little cryptid symbol next to your name when you comment, and it goes a long way in supporting my channel, so thank you. Also, consider following me on Twitter. It's the best place for me to keep in contact with you guys. But anyway, this has been Wujin TV. Thanks for watching, guys.